Okay, what's up? I'm a bit frustrated. Um, I was in a small mood probably about 40 minutes ago, and it was going to be a really short one, but this one is not going to be a really long one either. And here's the thing. You need to make a choice. Whose side are you on? Right now, you've got three sides. That's it. It's three sides. You've got Republican, Democrat, Progressive. Now, Progressive is also just as Democrat. Progressive is also forward-thinking. Progressive wants to take it to the future, get what's good for you and all this other stuff. So let me break it down real quick. See, people like you know, apples, oranges, simple, right to the point. They want not so much facts, but feelings. I'm just going to give it to you straight up the way it is. Your options that's going to be in this final thing is going to be Donald Trump, Joe Biden, Bernie Sanders, Republican, Democrat, progressive. Those are your options. Now, a lot of you already have your minds made up. Now, I'm not talking to those who are a Democrat leaning progressive or those who are progressive. I'm talking to you Republicans. And I'm talking to you traditional Democrat people, the hardliners, the ones that are just partisan. Uh, those are the ones I'm talking to. I don't have to convince those that think more so like I do. I need to convince those that are, in a sense, not thinking in their best interest. You're not. Let me explain. You are Republicans, okay? Talking to you guys. And you know what? Just in case anyone out there listening, please send this if you have a Republican friend. Send it to him. Just let him hear me, all right? Now, Donald Trump, what has he done? He's done a lot. But I want you to think about a few things. First and foremost, Republicans, you're the first ones to say Mexicans and people from Brazil or Chile do not need to come up here into our country. Isn't that your jargon? Isn't that what you say? They don't need to come and invade our country and raise prices and take and, and, and steal our money and, and all this other stuff. Steal our jobs, things like that. That's what you say. Now, are you really about that or not? Or are you just about racism? Are you just racist people? Before you turn it off, before you shake your head and all this, think about it. You don't want the Mexicans here. You don't want the Brazilians here. You don't want Chileans here. You don't want anyone here. You don't want Middle Easterns here. You don't want anybody here. You're Trump supporters. You're MAGA to the end. That's what you are. You don't want anyone coming in and invading or hurting or terrorizing our country. You don't want that. However, you support the very thing you don't like. Donald Trump is right now orchestrating and invading Venezuela. It does not matter how you feel about Venezuela. Venezuela has nothing to do with the United States of America. Nothing. Venezuela is its own thing right now in this topic. So right now, Venezuela, nothing. However, Donald Trump and his ilk are legitimately sending United States troops to Venezuela. Why? To cause a regime change. Why? Because to make a deal so the United States can get one of the largest oil areas on the planet. That's why. For the oil. That's why they're going to Venezuela. It's a jacked up, podunk country that nobody wants anything to do with, right? So why is Trump going there if it's not for the oil, if that's what you're saying? What, to make it better? Like he did Mexico? You know, that like he's going to support Mexico, like he said? He's going to go in there, talk, we have the best relationship and all this? Where, where did that go? You're talking about defending a guy and voting for a guy that's doing the very same thing that you don't like, which is invading a country and jacking it up. Because that's what our country has done to every other country. Go in there and jack it up. And you keep voting for the same people that do it. See, that is what you're voting for. Is that what you want? At the same time, tax money with Donald Trump, with any other Republican. I want you to think about this. Now, you don't want socialists. You don't want socialism because that's communism, right? No, that's the devil's work, right? Okay, fine. Let's leave it at that. That's what socialism is. Socialism stuff, when you tax money, 
Who do you want to support? Not presidential campaign. No, 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 no. Not someone outside the country. No. I mean, right here in the great old U.S. of I. That's what I'm talking about. We're talking about United States of America. This is where your tax money is. This is where it's going. So that's what I'm going to focus on only. Okay? That's the only place I'm going. United States of America. Now, your tax money. You work. You pay your taxes. You pay your dues. And you don't want some goddamn government system giving it out to people. Giving free handouts. You don't want that. You, don't th you think it's the worst thing to do is to give people a, a, a helping hand or to give them free money. Because they haven't earned it. They haven't worked for it. And it's your tax money paying for their kids, paying for their colleges, or paying for their school, or paying for them to do drugs or whatnot. If, if I'm correct, right? And you don't want that. And you know what? A lot of people agree with you. So let me explain something. Are you a hypocrite? Because this tax money that you think shouldn't go to these people to help out, you know where it really does go? It don't really go to them too much. Oh, no. They get about three to six percent of it no 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 where does your tax money go it goes to these big oil companies and these other big uh institutions that get your tax money boeing makes over eight billion dollars a year easily over eight billion dollars a year what the hell do they need 120 million in subsidies for that's what a subsidy is it's a tax giveaway they just say here's the money thanks so what's that? Do you want Boeing to have your money? No, they, he, want, they want J.P. Morgan Chase wait, to have their money. Wait, wait. They want J.P. Morgan Chase to have their money because they make billions of dollars too and they get trillions of dollars in subsidies because I guess they're just suffering that much. So whose side are you on? Are you on the side of the people that should get that money? The people that are in the street, sick, broke, homeless. Are those the people that you don't want to have the money? Or those are people you do want to have the money. It depends on what color they are. But see, this is, yes, it does. They don't want to help black people because that's what. No, anybody is brown. Well, yeah, brown, basically, the brown complexion. <laughs> or poor whites. But it's the poor whites that are voting against the poor whites. Literally, you look in the mirror and say, I don't want you to have shit. But that's voting for Trump. That's what voting for Trump is. You think I'm wrong? Think about it. Just literally think about it. Don't get partisan. Don't just shake your head. Use your supposed God-given brain. Everything is so God-given. Use it. That's what I'm asking. Use it. Think about what Trump has done. Think about what you have gained. You're in where you are. Broke poor or going to get broke poor redlining living paycheck to paycheck trump says he's going to give you this and give you that when all he's ever done was supported your racism is your racism worth more than your livelihood that's the question i got for you what is more important you being better or making sure that the skin color you don't like get jacked up what's more important because that's what i need to know from you Yes, I'm asking you, leave your comments down below. Leave it. You got a racist comment? Make sure that it makes some sense. Don't leave some stupid, dumbass shit down there. Act like you got some sense. Act like your mama actually raised you right. Leave something that says, I don't like black people because of, and make sure you can back it up with something that you have physically witnessed, something that your eyes have bore witness to. Do that. That's what I'm asking. You know, that's all I'm asking. Now, Joe Biden, he's next. Yeah, you Republicans, I'm against Joe Biden. I'm against the Democrat. You're wondering why, right? What's Joe Biden about? Let me give you a quick Joe Biden promo. I'm going to do it myself. All right. Anytime this fool or anyone in that area of Democrats come up, what's going to happen? They're going to do this right here when they say it's time to do an ad. Hi, I'm Joe Biden, and I'm running for president of the United States of America. It's been on our doorsteps for the longest of every single kind of country trying to get their hands into our election campaign. 
and our past presidents and officials have allowed certain things to happen in that regard. And I'm against that. I don't want that. There have been people that's been hurt and murdered in the street on behest of Nazism and other racial tendencies. That's something that I'm against. What I am for, I am for a united country. I am here to help everyone come together under this veil of misery and evil so that we can be that light that breaks the clouds open so that the sun may shine upon us. Our togetherness will make us stronger. We will not sit here and allow people to bulldoze their way into our lives and ruin it for our children and our future. What we will do is make sure that each and every one of us work hard from the ground up like the great Americans we are and make sure this country stands at the top of the hill as the beacon of light for everyone to see and understand that there is safety and decency here. Because without a strong middle class, there is no strong America. And I am running as president to make America strong again. That's it. Have I said anything? No. Ain't said shit. Nothing. Nada. Nothing's come out of my grill piece other than, yeah, man, I like stuff. And there's bad stuff. Life is what it is. And that's why I'm not going to vote for any Democrat. I'm not. No policy. They're just as bad as Donald Trump and his ilk. It's the thing is, Democrats shut up to make that money. They make sure that they put the fight out what we want. And then those big contractors, they say, look, you need to shut up about that. How much are you going to pay us? Oh, we're going to give you a lot of money. Good. Now we're going to fight against it. So that's why you got uh, Nancy Pelosi, Cory Booker, and all them fools out there saying the same stupid promo stuff and doing their best to make sure they're going to get your vote. But now that Joe Biden is in it, no one's going to vote for Cory. He ain't white. No one wouldn't. There, no one would vote for Elizabeth Warren. Not only is she, I mean, she's white, but she a woman. <laughs> Old guard, no new tricks. <laughs> that's all there's to it. Joe Biden, Cory Booker, the only reason they in the race is to make sure that anybody that's 60 years old and up, that's a Democrat is going to vote. You know why? Because people who are literally 50 to about 40 may vote. It just depends. People who are 40 to 30 usually kind of go out and vote here and there. But people who are under 30 usually won't vote. And those usuals and maybes and all that is a half and half thing. You've got one half that says, I'm going to vote depending upon how I feel. I'm going to vote depending upon if I care. I'm going to vote depending upon how they make me feel pumped up at the last second. And then you got those that say, look, it's too hot. It's too rainy. It's too cold. Or I'm feeling under the weather, so I'm not going to vote. Those are the ones that, those are the weakest people right there. I'm not going to vote because you know, I don't care. Well, my vote ain't going to do nothing anyway. So they count on you not voting to make sure that they win. Obama would have lost if people did that. If everyone had did that, Obama would have lost. If everyone didn't do that, Hillary would have actually won. If she would have won more than the 3 million votes, it would have taken 6 million to get everything on her side. But see, that's what people are voting for when it comes to Democrats. They're voting for tradition. Which means it don't move, it stays the same. Democrats say, I'm going to put you in the future by doing absolutely nothing. That's the problem I have with Democrats. Now, the final one, progressives, Bernie Sanders. I'm not anti-Bernie. I am pro, can we get some other people like Bernie? There's got to be more than Alejandra Ocasio-Cortez out there doing something. Because all she is, is now is a rock star. She's been targeted. All because of hatred. Racism, hatred, and misogyny. That's it. And crazy. Everyone's being targeted. If you're forward thinking, you got something going for you, you've been targeted. But she's a rock star now. Every time something come up about her, it's be like her. Do like her. Look what she did. She owned this person. She owned that person. And then, what do you hear? The House, the Senate, 
They're not working for the people. I'm like, well, damn, Ocasio's got to be in one of them. Isn't there a bunch of progressives that made it in? Where's the fight? That's my issue. We need people more like Bernie that's going to say it, got a track record of doing it, and when they get in, they're going to work hard to get it done. If they don't get it done, it ain't because they ain't doing it, it's because they're getting fought. There's a difference. Bernie tied himself to a tree, to a black woman. That was just his choice. You're going to arrest her, you got to arrest me too. March with Dr. Martin Luther King. He's been on the right side of the issues every single time. His policies have always been for minorities. It's been for the middle class. He ain't working for the wealthy. He ain't working for the military industrial complex. That's something FDR warned everyone about. But ain't nobody listening. They just want to feel. You want to feel good, but you don't want to be good. You want others to act good, but you don't want them to. But you don't want them to show why they're acting good, what they're acting good for. That's that's the same old crap that everyone does, no matter what party it is. Now, granted, Bernie Sanders, he's going to run in the Democratic ticket because without it, he can't get a chance. He wanted independent, but now they have literally gerrymandered everything so that if you don't vote in that party, you don't get the vote. So if he runs independent and you vote independent, since independent is not a recognized thing, it won't count. That's how that works. If you're a Republican and you vote for a Democrat, it won't count. If you're a Democrat and vote for a Republican, it won't count. That's not fair. That's not right. If you're a Republican and you want to vote for someone else that is Republican, but they're not on the ticket, it won't count. Do you really think that's democracy? Really? That's not democracy. That's gerrymandering. It's dictatorship. We live in a plutocracy. If you got the money, you can buy the politician. If you can buy the politician, you can trick the people. You can trick the people. You don't have to worry about anything because they're too damn stupid to know they've been tricked. It's easier. What's that quote? It's easier to trick someone than to convince them that they have been tricked. That's the, that's, the, that's, the, that's, that's the truth. So you've got three sides to choose. You can have Republicans, which are complete full of hatred, racism, and they've got blood on their hands. The Republican Party has blood on their hands. All right? Heather Hyatt, right there, blood on their hands. Police killing people in the street. White, black, Latino, Latina, it doesn't matter. Blood on on their hands the police work for the government the government has to try to has not tried to co correct the police that's blood on their hands there are kids that's being detained raped and 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 slaughtered and humiliated separated from their parents brutalized their parents that can't get their kids back because they put them in a system and lost them in the united states these kids will be will never know who their parents are that's on the Republican side. That's blood on their hands. See, you got to say something. They're bought and paid for by the NRA so that all these crazy white dudes with some sort of a religious, conservative, Nazi, I'm not getting any pussy problem can go out and shoot anybody with any kind of weapons because they don't want to put laws in because the NRA paid for them. They got blood on their hands. Blood on their hands. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Is blood on their hands. The Democrats, you think they ain't got blood on their hands? They vo Biden voted for the wars. He voted for NAFTA. He voted for all of this stuff. Everyone his ilk, Nancy Pelosi, Booker, all of them fools. They voted for this stuff. That's blood on their hands. Progressive haven't voted for a single war. They haven't voted for anything of J.P. Morgan, they haven't voted for any military contracts. They haven't voted for anything. There's no blood on their hands. None. Democrats and Republicans have voted to expand military spending by over $1.5 trillion this year. That money is going into military contractors' pockets and a little bit of the, the goods produced by them for wars that's not even needed. 
we could take the military budget by half and fix everyone's lives, pay off everyone's bills, pay off everyone's mortgages, renovate probably half the homes, have absolute free college for a very long time, over 10 years, with just half of our military budget. Half. We could have free Medicare. We could do it with just half our military spending. And we would still out buy the military by 100% over 100% than every other country combined. We could do it five times, maybe 10 times over every other country combined because we're not paying the troops. The troops get paid minimum wage. Their homes don't get paid for. They don't get jacked. And then they got to come home blown up, missing stuff, traumatized from the stuff they've seen overseas that they work for just so they can go to the VA and get screwed over. All right? That's what the Democrats and the Republicans for. Oh, why are they fighting all these wars? If you don't know, well, now you know. It's the Trans-Arabian Pipeline. Look it up. I've talked about it a few times. Not many people are looking it up. Not people even want to talk about it. But all the, you look at the pipeline, where it's supposed to go, and what countries are in the way, you know why we're attacking Syria. You know why in the hell we're supporting Israel and their shit. You know why. Progressives are not in that area. There are three camps. You can choose two that's got blood on their hand or one that's trying to wash everyone's hands and get everything clean. Stop all this crazy. Stop all this racism. Stop all these wars. Yeah, this is an advocation for progressivism. It's an advocation for forward thinking. Because I don't want blood on my hands Unless the blood on my hands is the blood of those that's needlessly causing harm to other people. That's literally how I feel. If I had to vote for... Now, people out there... No, nah, you can't say that. You're progressive. Fuck you. I'm Cedric Kennedy. And I get tired of getting fucked over. I get tired of getting beat on. I don't sit here and act like a little bitch and stop cursing because some sponsors told me to. I'm not gonna sit here and stop giving you certain news on certain people fucking up because all of a sudden they're my sponsor. I'm not gonna sit here and start being all patty cake and giving you rainbows and butterflies just because a few people are annoyed that I'm giving the goddamn truth. And I'm not gonna stop swearing I'm not gonna stop saying goddamn fuck pussy motherfucker and shit just because some people can't be a goddamn adult and listen to words that they've known about since they were 12 and they're wanting to say it and said it in private and now all of a sudden you get old and don't want to say shit no this is progressive forward thinking honest raw shit and if you don't like it go fuck yourself that's life if that, what they say about the country if you don't like it then fucking leave it these are just words and adults trying to say, get out your ass and do something. I'm going to vote and it's going to be for Bernie. It's going to be for whoever's progressive. That's what I'm going to vote for. I'm not voting for a Republican. I'm not voting for blood on their hands. I'm not voting for wars. I'm not voting for J.P. Morgan military contracts. I'm not voting for big banks or anything else like that to keep screwing people over. I'm not voting for anybody that's going to allow a six-year-old child to be raped and then forced to sign a contract that says it's my fault for not pushing them away. I'm not voting for anything that supports anything like that. Nobody should. Nobody should. Nobody needs to support any Democrat that goes out there and gives you a bunch of filler and feel-good words without any policies. Nobody needs to vote for that. You need to vote for somebody that says, this is what I want, this is why I want it, this is how I plan to achieve it, and if you don't like it, go fuck yourself, because it's time to actually make America great for once. That's what I want to vote for, to make America great for once. And when I talk about America, I ain't talking about the United States. I'm talking about anything as South as Chile and as north as Greenland.
That's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about Canada, Greenland, United States, Mexico, all Central America, Brazil, Chile. I'm talking about all that. America. Because we used to be that great. To actually have the money and do it. And we used to send people to go down there and do it. And now we don't. It's done. If we can't siphon from them, then they're useless. And if they got the oil, we're going to take it. That's not what I want. And all this should not take two more generations. It should not take ten more years. It should take three years tops. And it can be done if people start acting like they got some damn sense. So pick a side. Republican, Democrat, damn near the same coin. Progressive is a whole new era. And it's about time that people got on board. That's all I got to say about this. This is Cedric Kennedy for Comparative Reasoning. Leave your comments down below. And yes, no matter how I feel about how riled up I am, I always thank you for listening. Because sometimes people just don't want to listen. So I'm appreciative of those that do. Check you later.